you can first just tell us who you are. Hi, my name is Adam Russo, Adam David Russo, and I live in northern Jerusalem with my two kids. And um, um, I was born here, basically, so my whole life. I'm a very Jerusalem-based kind of Israeli. All right. And uh, what are some of the major uh, aspects of your worldview like that makes you you? Well, I started out like as a leftist, but I moved towards a conservative camp. So today, I would really consider myself conservative, like okay. maybe ultra conservative. Okay. Like uh, I'm in that camp, um, uh, even socially conservative, everything. I'm like a very right wing person today. Okay. And what what made you? get in that direction? I thought that I was joining the left because of uh, human rights and because of freedom and because of, you know, gaining respect for minority groups because I'm gay and stuff. But and you I, care about people. Of course, that's, yeah. that's, that's always been what motivates, what motivated me. And today, seeing where I am today, it's also motivated by those things. But I quickly saw that the left has other plans, that they do not care about min minorities, they don't care about people at all, they don't care about gay people, about uh, women. Yeah. I hope I'm being... Uh, I think you have a good... Yeah. Okay. So, um, I think, uh, and I saw, I saw that the left, for, for example, um, I joined the open house in Jerusalem. Um, it, it's like a gay organization. And I just saw that they're just one um, one organization uh, in a series of organizations of left-wing organizations that work against everything that we cherish. So I kind of, you know, started seeing like the hypocrisy, and then I then I started under I started understanding that it's not hypocrisy. Okay. It's the M.O. of the left. So, modus operandi. Modus operandi. That's the M.O. I mean, that's what the left wants. The left wants basically to ru ruin society. And I'm saying things like, it's not like I, ha I haven't thought of these things. I'm not, I'm not like a, a stupid right-winger who has like these uh, uh, shallow thoughts. Yeah, what's your degree? And stuff. Just to so, what kind of mind do you have? What's, what's your degree in? I have a degree in mathematics. Yeah, you're, so you're very analytical, objective. I am an analytical, but I'm, I'm, I'm saying, I mean, I mean, you could say things about the left that are that sound very sophisticated very unsophisticated yeah. <laughs> uh, you could sound very unsophisticated and people would say okay you haven't been there I mean do you know the left well, I know the left so everything that I say that was your predisposition like, basically originally yes, everything that I say right now about the left for example they want to ruin society they want to just to dismantle everything that is good about Western society um, so everything that I say is because I have the experience I know who they are so this is basically what I am in terms of uh, political views, and in terms of social views, I've go I've grown uh, closer and closer towards uh, social conservatism. Once I understood what happens to society uh, when chaos um, when chaos takes over, and that's exactly what they're trying to do. I mean, the, the, the social. What about people who say they've suffered bigotry from religious groups, people on the right? Well, I'm against bigotry. I'm I. I I'm like the English tr tradition of conservative, you know, I'm, I, some people can be dissidents, some people can, you know, be eccentric, but uh, norms in society are very important, and I think that we've thrown that away. Have you ever experienced any bigotry? I've never experienced bigotry. So that's like another thing. I, I've never in my well, I was stabbed, but I'm, I have never experienced bigotry on a personal basis okay. where, wherever I went what? as a gay man. Why were you stabbed? I was stabbed because I was a gay. Uh, yeah. uh, because I'm gay, but it, it was it wasn't really because I'm gay. It was because I uh, participated in a pride parade okay. that the uh, ultra orthodox people were really against. But I'm ten, I'm saying in terms of my life, mm -hmm. my personal life, your my regular interactions. Life, yeah. Everything I've never experienced making dreams because of me being gay. Maybe when I was like in junior high. Who cares about how, how would you things? describe I mean, that right. and experience making dreams when you're in how junior would, high? How would you describe the reaction here in Israel when? Oh wait. Oh wait. Yeah. We'll wait. Anyway, I was saying um, I, I don't think I've, I've experienced any bigotry other than you know regular you know being somewhat different junior high high school stuff bigotry nothing nothing of that nature.
And yeah, the fact that was stabbed in a pride parade, it's not like, oh, how stupid is, is this guy? He says he doesn't, uh, he hasn't uh, experienced big I'm talking about you know, me living my life in Jerusalem. Uh, That's a mistake a lot of people make. Like, taking an exception to the rule, yeah. even though it's horrible and traumatic. And by the way, but that was one event. It's, by the way, a very, it is an exception, even to the, to the uh, Orthodox community, because he, you kind of have to wait 10 years mm -hmm. this effort to uh, get out of jail and then do that kind of stuff again. And he murdered. That's the kind of. I know about it. Yeah, but he murdered a, 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 a participant in the parade. She wasn't even gay. Um, at 10 years yeah. afterwards. And nothing happened with, in between. So I live amongst um, uh, Orthodox people, a lot of them. I train in a gym that is uh, uh, men only. And uh, whenever someone finds out, it's like, okay, wow, it's interesting. They ask questions. Nothing more than but this that. is like a, a, a what's the word? An archetypical yes. uh, example of the of the irrationality and bigotry of the radical left itself. Because on the one hand, they're like, oh, don't generalize about all sorts of minorities. You can't generalize if you even point out one negative thing. It's like you're the devil. You're homophobic. But They'll take one event out of 10 years and then apply that to the entire population. Or religious. Western or religious. Yeah. In Israel, I would say the, uh, the uh, religious Jews are like Christians in the United States. Of course. Um, and I think that here in Israel, by the way, they have, they call it, uh, they say everything is a phobia. Islamophobia, homophobia, blah, 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 phobia. But the real phobia is a phobia that I experience myself is religious phobia. Okay? Okay. They, they, I think, uh, the Israeli left to the, the secular is hoping it is terrified by religion because they think they think that you know if you have more religious people and more religious policies or not even religious policies right they're gonna end up in uh, Iran. I understand that yeah. fear. Uh, it is a stupid fear. Uh, religious Jews don't operate that way. Um, it's never going to happen, even if they make up like 70 percent Their values are different. Like even with the de culture, even with the death penalty in in in, yeah. in, in, in the Talmud two thousand years ago, before the reform movement, before hum humanism. They had the concept that a, 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 a Jewish Supreme Court that would put someone to death once in, was it seven yes. years, Extreme. was considered an extremist. Yes. That's in the Talmud written and like 2,000 years ago. There's no danger of Israel or even the United States, Christians, like take over once again. There's no danger of them becoming a theocracy or something that it's uh, a so, um, dystopian, like, like totalitarian and violent. Like, it's about culture, murderous. it's not just about you know, the beliefs themselves. Right. It's about the political structure that they create, and they're not going to create that kind of political structure. So I, I've, I've grown to, I've grown out of it. I've grown, okay. I, I'm, I think I've grown up, and I don't think that this is a danger. So that's basically how I see things in terms of uh, politics. So, if there were anything you could clarify, mm -hmm. anything you could clarify about Israel. But to the outside world, to people who don't really understand yes. or know Israel. Did you know there's a lot of misunderstandings or claims about... Yeah, well, as a right-winger and as a Zionist, I would say that um, people should... Um, look, it's, it, it's not... Some people get it for a geopolitical struggle. It is, ge it, it is geopolitical. We, we could be friends with the Arab world if we're starting right now. We're becoming friends with them because of geopolitics. So everything that has to do with geopolitics, I think people, they, if they go into that without any bias, they can understand and learn the situation. They can have a, a, a very good grasp of what's going on. But it's it's more than that. Like everything is more. 
to just be abolished. I think there's one side here that is, I mean, uh, the, the, the Israelis, the Jews, they are the, mo the more civilized part, and we do just want to establish a, a, a liberal society. That's basically what's happening here. And I mean, the people, let me put it this way. They, it is true that whenever you make concessions, they come for you. I'm talking about the efforts of talking about the Palestinians. They have one goal, and they're not going to throw out of it. I don't know. And they don't hide it. They openly talk now. about it. Yeah, maybe a hundred years from now, we go through like a renaissance. Good for them. Um, I'm not going to wait for that. I am absolutely, when I see the barbarity, when I see what happens, there's too many. The, 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 the traffics, there's too many uh, um, um, Palestinian set settlements uh, popping up. These are terror nests. I do believe in, in the idea of, of transfer. I don't know how, it, uh, how to say it. You mean population transfer? Population yeah. transfer. Absolutely. I am pro-Israel. I think that is this transfer based on race, based on color of skin, based on based on what what, what they what, what they believe. I'm not talking about you know taking all the Arabs and getting rid of them. So like I if you have think that this is a strategic and it, it's a, it's a